Are you reinvesting back in your business or are you thinking about reinvesting back in your business? And why haven't you yet? Let's, let's talk about this. Roll it. Whoa. Welcome back to another video. My name is Nico Zorantis. This is MentorsApproach.com where we explore daily ideas that will get your mind moving in the right direction. So hit that subscribe button and of course hit the like button if you like what you see in this video. Today's email comes from somebody who's asking, hey, I've been reinvesting back into my business, but it ain't doing 100% what I want it to do. How do you know when to stop reinvesting? When do you know that it's time to stop that whole thing? And you know, the, the outlook of it is, or the reality, I should just jump right back into the reality of it. The moment you stop reinvesting into your business, that's the moment your business will stop growing. Now, yes, it will continue based on the things you were doing and it will keep growing a little bit, but that, you know, there's a tipping point where it curves down and eventually, you know, that growth ends and you're not gonna get, um, you're only getting the benefits of whatever you were doing for X amount of time after. You, you gotta reinvest. And yes, we invest in marketing, we invest in all the ads that we're gonna look at and how we're gonna run them. And of course, there's the other side, which is the equipment and everything you need to run your business and run whatever you're trying to actually sell. Jumping into the email, hi Nikos. Spending time watching some of your videos, thank you. I really think you got something here with your words. I appreciate that. When you are looking at reinvesting back into your business, is there a percentage you usually stick to? No, you, it's subjective. You don't need to think about that. I have a business I've been investing back. I have a business I have been investing back into for the last several months, but I haven't seen the return. Most of it is in marketing, some in equipment. How do you know when to stop? And, and again, this is, you know, I'm looking at this question. I wanted to address it as, you know, a total stop. Hey, I'm going to stop doing the reinvestment. And the reality is you don't ever want to stop reinvesting into your business. There should be some kind of percentage that you're happy with. Now, that percentage has to come from the ability for you to see a pattern of what's happening and be comfortable with that growth. So if you know you're going to spend X amount of money into that investment, then in say marketing that you're going to have, it, you know, so much of a return and you're good with that. And as you see that, yeah, it'll be plus minus, but it'll be a general similar pattern each and every month. And you know, hey, I'm going to spend a thousand bucks and that's it done. Okay. And, and you know, that's happening. Great. Now, if you don't know the patterns, well, you need to look at how much money do you need to spend in order to achieve whatever you're trying to achieve. If we look at marketing and advertising and say we just look at Facebook for instance and you wanted to spend and you know bring in a return on it. So say your product is making 20 bucks for every two dollars you spent on Facebook. Well you run the ad and the ad you know isn't two bucks it's returning at a you know you're spending around four or five dollars and you run it for two weeks and your goal was to with by the two weeks you've actually hit your average so yeah you might have plus minuses but you'll hit that average and the question is do you stop it or do you let it run for another week to see what goes on and sometimes I'll you know I'm looking at the patterns and I say to myself will it average out if it's not gonna average out then I just leave it and you know I, I stop it and I start something else now if it looks like it's gonna average out I want to see what's gonna happen I leave it for another week and I and I really take that risk on you know that money in there but the idea is very simple. You're putting a, a time frame on whatever you're doing, and then you're putting a monetary value of the max you want to go up to. And if you're not within a boundary that you've set and that timeline, then it's time to stop that and go after a new approach. That's the simple economics behind it because we, we need to keep trying to become more efficient with whatever we're doing. Some ads will work like, you know, unbelievably great where others, they don't, you sit there you're going, what, what is this? Like, what's going on? Uh, the book Ideas to Profits, I spent a lot of money on that just to get the colors right because I was watching who was clicking on the ads. You know, who would have thought? The colors I picked were the best ones for 50-50 male and female ratio and in the ages I wanted it. Um, I, I tried all these different covers and I ran the ads and I was getting either all males or all females or different age groups I didn't want or what have you. And then I tried one certain combination. That was the one that was the winner. I, I decided I was gonna spend 
an, uh, an amount I was comfortable with for a timeline I was willing to do this and then I went and did it. Very simple. Once I figure out, hey, my, my cost is one, two dollars on these five ads and I can keep running them, uh, I, I'm gonna spend a budget of what I believe I need because I know now the pattern I'm gonna be getting every two weeks to four weeks, I'll be able to look at it and say for a thousand dollars, I'm gonna be making so much money and so much you know, sales that I can handle and I'll just leave it at around that number and you know, I'm not gonna go spend more unless I'm feeling like having a great month and I know that I can handle doing more work in that given month. It, it's, you know, when you, you, I think you're going through this right now because, and you're wondering about it because you've been doing it for so long. And you're feeling like, man, it's not working 100%. And because it's not working 100%, you're going, you know, maybe I shouldn't be doing this. Like, I mean, I have enough money, I'm doing okay, you know, and that, that gets you stuck and it gets you wondering, should I be spending more money? Is this pointless? I've been there until I really figured out what I had to do. I, you know, and, and this, I mean, this was a while back and then I started doing it for clients and I started figuring out what we're gonna do, how we're gonna do it. And, and now the tough challenge is to tell clients, hey, patience, you need patience. Just relax, let this take its course so we know exactly what we're doing. Some of them, hey, take your time on it and it turns out great. Others are just like, you know what, somebody called me for a hundred dollars, I'm gonna go to them. They're gonna take care of me, that's what they said. And you know, I'm like, okay, go, it's, it's not a problem. A hundred bucks is, you know, for me, that's, I, I, the clients I have are spending way more money than that and they're taking their time with it and they're patient with it. And when somebody that claims to work for Google calls and you know, they're on the phone and they go a hundred dollars or two hundred dollars or, you know, what amount, I mean, it, even if you're looking at a productive amount of uh, results that you need, you need to spend at least $10 a day. You know, the $10 to $30 is a good average to be spending in order for you to really see results in the long run. And you know, this is again, you're in this situation, you've been spending money, you've been spending your time, you can't figure out, there's no return on investment, and it brings us to the next point. Which really is, you know, maybe it's time you stop doing this and you go seek a firm or a consulting or an agency that focuses on this, give them the opportunity to prove to you that they can perform and you know put a timeline on it and let them do the work that you are not really achieving and, and i would decide this on a certain timeline like so say i'm going to keep trying this for three months if it doesn't work i'll go to them and what i would do is go to somebody who actually knows what they're doing don't don't go cheap on it don't go and hire some high school kid you know or some university kid that's like i know all this stuff well you know hire somebody who has a track record you don't want to lose time this is the value of money you don't want to lose time when you can just go to somebody yeah they charge maybe 30 percent on the you know 30 cents on a dollar you get it done and as long as you start seeing results in the timeline that they're giving you you know maybe it's just worth sticking to that so you can go back to doing what you need to do on your business the things that you're really good on on the equipment that you're buying and making sure everything's running efficient so you can have more clients coming through the door i'm assuming all these ads are taking up some time maybe not a lot of time but some time and i mean this is the reality of maybe you know, how you're reinvesting and what's the appropriate way to reinvest in this situation. I'll link the video from yesterday up top. Go back to it and really ask yourself, have you made your list of what's important in the business? Have you made your list of all the things you're doing, what you need to be reinvesting in, and how is that looking? Because sometimes we, we really get that idea that we know and until we really put everything down we don't discover everything that we do know and you know i mean everybody is in their business and this is why this is the reality is because you know we're biased on it we're biased on what's actually taking up a lot of time and what's actually driving our efficiency down instead of really increasing the efficiency to a point where we're doing an uh, amazing job so Give that a shot and really ask yourself, what am I doing? How is it looking? What's my timeline? Budget your time. Make sure you're budgeting 
a, a, a finite amount of time, not just let it run endlessly, say I'm gonna do it for two weeks, I'm gonna spend this much money, I'm gonna cut it, try something new, keep working on it. I don't believe you should ever stop marketing or advertising, I don't believe you should ever, ever stop doing something to stay in the eye of people, and this is where social media really, really um, is an important piece because you can keep making content and keep pumping it out so people see how active you are, and it really moves things forward in that right direction. Hit a like if you like what you see, of course, hit the subscribe button, and leave your comment below. Have you been in a similar situation? What'd you do? How did it look, and what was the result? Who knows, somebody might be reading your comment, and might help change a life.